Welcome meteorology students. This is Mr. Call here to talk with you about why does hot air rise? Um, this seems like a seemingly simple question. Uh, by the time you're looking at these slides or watching this video, hopefully you've had a chance to comment in our discussion board about why you think this actually happens. Most of you, if not all of you, have uh, this knowledge in your, in your scientific um, knowledge bank. You know that hot air rises, right? But when we start to ask why, we see some holes in student understanding. So here are the main points that we want you to be able to communicate when asked this question in the future. Um, the first thing we want you to know is that when uh, air begins to heat up, when those air molecules get warmer, what's happening is that they're moving faster. That's actually what temperature is measuring, how quickly they're moving around. And as they move around in hot air versus cold air, they begin to move faster and spread out. And when they spread out, uh, that leads us to step number two. Those molecules that spread out are not changing in mass, right? They're not heavier or lighter than they were before, but what they do is actually take up more space. So they increase in volume. You've got a deflated balloon versus an inflated balloon. If you have that balloon closed off and tied, but you change its temperature, you can actually see the volume of the balloon shrink down when it cools off. You can put it in the fridge or put it out in the sun and it will actually start to expand. So the volume increases, which leads us to our third step. If you have uh, air that has warmed up and spread out with molecules that are moving faster, it will experience a greater force due to buoyancy upward. And gravity is still there pulling downward on it. But whichever of those two forces wins out, either buoyancy up or gravity down determines if something will rise or if something will sink and drop. And so in the case of warm air, buoyancy becomes strong enough that the air will rise. And uh, consequently, if you look at cold air, all of the opposite are true. Cold molecules will slow down and they bunch together, they move closer together, which causes their volume to decrease. And in that case, the buoyant force gets a little bit less and gravity gets a little, uh, not that it gets stronger, but it cannot, um, Sorry, gravity does overpower buoyancy. Sorry, I had a little hiccup there. And that will cause the object to sink. Remember, whichever force, gravity down or buoyancy up, whichever one is stronger determines if it rises or if it sinks. And in the case of cold air, gravity wins out, and so it does sink. Hope that helps.